This is the Famomo M220 Thermal Label Printer. It's a diverse little printing machine that's perfect for GIF labels, post-it notes, QR codes and more. It's available on Amazon with a 30% off discount right now, so it's $62.99 in the UK at the time of recording, that's around $79 US. It also has over 390 reviews with a 4.5 star rating which is pretty impressive. It comes well packaged and well presented in this little white box. Inside you get the quick start guide, we also get some QR codes and stuff, we'll take a look at those in a moment. Then we get the printer itself, it comes well packaged and protected by this foam insert. It feels quite heavy, it's 325 grams in weight, it's around 5 inches by 5 inches square and around 2.5 inches deep. It's mostly a plastic construction but it does feel like it's well built. We also get some labels included, that's nice to see. We can use different size labels as well. There are some measurements clearly labelled here for your convenience. We've got a few multifunctional buttons on the front and a little LED screen. On the right side we've got the USB-C charging port and the lever to release the lid. Finally we get a USB-C charging lead. Everything seems good so let's go and test this out. Setting up the application is easy, you can just scan the QR code or alternatively you can search for the Printmaster application in the Google or the iOS stores. Install the application, you can create an account or you can just choose to use it as a guest. There are a few permissions and things that you'll need to accept here to gain full access to the application. I always give it permission while using the app only. Once you've accepted your permissions, you want to select the printer that you're trying to connect to. For us, it's the M220. Once you've successfully connected, you'll be brought to the home page of the application. This is quite good here because it shows you everything that you need to do. It shows you where everything is and it does a really good job of guiding you through the application and showing you all the features. This is a cool feature. If I press new label, at the top here we have three options. We have cut label, which is the type we're using, black line, which puts a black line between each of the labels, and continuous, which in theory lets us do really long labels. You can change the label attributes here, and then this is for you to do whatever you want. You can do text, so you can add your own text on the labels, or you can do barcodes, so if you've got barcodes for your business or anything like that, again, you can go back and we can do QR codes. So you can use a website to change one of your links to a QR code if you want to print those off. You can do icons. We can do borders. Templates. So these are just some templates. Commodity templates some pricing and again you can customize all of these yourself some patterns if you want to make them for thank you notes or for parcels if you wanted to add expiry dates and things like that to food grade labels you can also do that here by adding items pricing model numbers and expiry dates things like that do a new label confirm and then we're going to go with text and we're going to say a sub to the channel would be phenomenal. We can also customize this text. You can add a curvature to it. You can invert that curvature and reverse this. You can reshape and resize it and return it back to normal. Just before you print it, you also get an option to center it. So if it looks like it's not going to be quite centered on the label, you can go ahead and center it here before you print it. That is a little smaller than I hoped, but it is a good representation of what's presented on the screen. So I'm just going to increase the size of that and then reprint it. We've made it bigger now, so let's test that. And that looks much better. This is another really cool feature, the voice function. Subscribe to the channel. And then it'll print that off for you if you want it to. We can also print QR codes and barcodes and things like that. You can also customize these and resize them, reposition them, etc. 
If you want to reset this for any reason, what you would do is you would quick press the power button. Once is for language, twice is for darkness, three times is for speed, fourth time is for the paper type or the gap, fifth type is for the power options, and the sixth setting is to restore settings that then factory resets the thermal printer. It also has the auto feed, so as soon as you line the label up, just close the lid, and it automatically feeds it for you. Label paper, this allows you to select what kind of paper you're using. At the moment, we've got a, a basic white label, which is our standard. But you do have some other options when it comes to labels. We can use these. These are all high quality thermal labels. You've got your typical white, which are similar to these, but they're slightly longer. Then we've got these ones, which are circular. These are clear. Let's try and print a QR code on one of these clear ones and see how that turns out. Yeah, that looks impressive. I'm very pleased with this. Overall, I have to say I'm very impressed with this little thermal printer. There's a few positives and a few negatives to consider here. The good thing is that there's various label types and sizes that you could use. It has very good battery life. There's a LED display. It's quiet to operate and it's also very quick and easy to set up. It has a free application. It's portable. It's very good for businesses, productivity and being organized in general. The print is clear and you never need to buy any ink. The bad points that I can find is that you do need to buy thermal labels. The resolution isn't that good with thermal printing, we still have a way to go. Images are still quite poor in quality. The images are only in black and white, there is no colour with thermal printing. The auto feed wastes one label at startup, and that is the only thing that I could find really that I would consider negative, and they are not really negative points for me, they're just when you buy an ink printer you need to buy ink. If you buy an inkless printer, then you need to buy thermal paper. It's literally up to you. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here today, I appreciate that. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.